Texas's right host and animal rights activist Bob Barker is now jumping into this fight. He sent a letter to the residents of Rockville encouraging them to stop this proposed deer hunt. Rockville Mayor Phyllis Marcuccio joins us. Mayor, thanks so much for joining us. We know this has been a heated issue. We actually have a copy of that letter that Barker sent to residents of Rockville. We want to read an excerpt of this letter for you real quick. Let's see if we can take that for you so we can show people at home. Uh, Bob Barker wrote, I find any method of killing deer to be inhumane as much as I feel it is so totally useless. I also urge you, talking about the residents of Rockville, to be the voice of the voiceless and innocent deer. So, Mayor Marcuccio, where do you stand on this issue? <laughs> well, I'm not sure my stance will be exactly what the city will have, but uh, I, I, my message really would be on the basis of what are we teaching children. I was an educator for years, and believe me, Children are very impressionable, and when you're going to consider such a thing as a deer hunt or any kind of culling of an animal, you are teaching children something that maybe you don't mean to. And so, from my point of view, that's the most important issue so here. So, I'm, I'm inferring that you do not support the deer hunt? Uh, I'm not a fan of it, no. Uh, I understand, I'm a biologist by training, and I understand the need to cull the herd but I do not think this is an appropriate thing for an urban setting. What is the proposed method of thinning the herd? Is it with a gun? Is it with well, arrows? Well, we haven't actually been uh, given the instructions for what might happen. Uh, I've asked those questions behind the scenes, so to speak, and there are groups of individuals who work throughout the state of Maryland and do this kind of, of uh, um, of work mm -hmm. essentially and they are supposedly trained to do it in the most humane way possible. Just to play devil's advocate for a minute, we know that the people who believe this herd uh, should be thinned out, they say that it's caused a number of problems from vehicle accidents to damage to landscape and vegetable gardens, Lyme disease and also damage to natural areas of forest and vegetation. Um, well I now, you know, would you have all these deer if they didn't have a good environment and no predators? Man is his only is only predator here. Uh, naturally, they're going to eat whatever you put out. That's uh, a meal for them. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, there are many ways in which I know personally you can put materials on your vegetation to to make them less attractive to deer. Mm -hmm. If we're going to spend $7,500 a year just to have a flyover to see what the numbers are of deer in our city, maybe we ought to think about spending that $7,500 on um, eradicating uh, the, the kinds of problems that bring deer. Uh, let's try and, and put some uh, materials down that will maybe make it less attractive in your yard. And I know some people who are also advocates of also saying instead of using a hunt, maybe other humane methods like live trapping and then relocating. So let me ask you right now, Rockville residents have until September 9th to voice their opinions. Explain how that works and then talk about the meeting on October 24th. Well, in July, the Deer, Ta Deer Task Force gave us a full report. At that point, we opened the channels to our community to please tell us what you think is the appropriate tack to take here. And those, those responses will be accepted until September 9. Mm -hmm. And September 9, those will be culled together, and Mr. Barker's letter will be among them. Okay, and then what happens on the 24th? Is that when a final decision is made? The task force is to examine all the responses that we've received. And then on the 24th, it's up to the mayor and council to make a recommendation for exactly what ac action we take. All right, well, we will, be, we will be following it. We know a lot of people are upset about this one. There's even a Facebook page for it. Rockville Mayor Phyllis Marcuccio, thanks for coming in tonight. Well, come on down. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs>